The cardiac conduction system is a complex network of specialized cells and tissues within the heart that work together to ensure the coordinated contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle. The most important part of the cardiac conduction system is the sinoatrial node, which is located right here at the edge of the upper right atrium of the heart, near the superior vena cava. The SA node is controlled by the autonomic nervous system, which can direct hormones to control your heart rate based on what you are doing. The SA node is considered the heart's natural pacemaker because it is responsible for initiating the electrical impulses that travel through the heart and cause it to beat. These electrical impulses, also known as action potentials, are generated by the movement of charged ions across the cell membranes of the SA node cells. These cells produce roughly 60 to 100 action potentials every minute. The SA node is located in the right atrium, but the action potential also needs to reach the left atrium simultaneously. So there's this structure over here called the Bachmann's bundle, or the interatrial tract. It is a specialized bundle of cardiac muscle fibers that connect the right and left atria of the heart and plays an important role in coordinating the electrical impulses to help synchronize the contraction of the right and left atria. Once the action potentials are generated, they travel through the atria via the internodal tracts and stimulate the atrial muscle cells to contract, which forces blood into the ventricles. The electrical impulses then reach the atrioventricular node, which is located right here at the junction between the atria and the ventricles. The AV node acts as a sort of gatekeeper to delay the transmission of the action potential from the atria to the ventricles for a fraction of a second. This delay allows the atria to fully contract and empty their blood into the ventricles before the ventricles are stimulated to contract. From the AV node, the electrical impulses travel down a specialized bundle of cells called the bundle of His, also known as the atrioventricular bundle. The bundle of His divides into two branches, the left and right bundle branches. These branches travel along the septum, the wall that separates the right and left ventricle, and then divide into smaller fibers called Purkinje fibers. The Purkinje fibers extend throughout the ventricles and quickly send the action potential to stimulate the ventricular muscle cells to contract, which pumps blood out of the heart and into circulation. If the SA node fails to function properly, other pacemaker cells, such as those in the AV node or the Purkinje fibers, can also generate electrical impulses themselves to take over the role of the primary pacemaker. However, they generate action potentials at a much slower rate than the SA node. This is why under normal conditions, they are not considered the pacemaker of the heart. The coordinated contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle cells is essential for the effective pumping of blood throughout the body. Any disruptions in the normal functioning of the cardiac conduction system can lead to abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias, which can have serious health consequences if left untreated. Common arrhythmias include atrial fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, and heart block, among others. Treatment options for arrhythmias can range from medication to surgical procedures such as a pacemaker implantation or ablation therapy. Now, time for some questions to test your understanding. Which of the following statements best describes the purpose of the atrioventricular node in the cardiac conduction system? Pause here if you need more time to think. The main function of the AV node is to delay the transmission of electrical impulses from the atria to the ventricles in order to allow for the atria to fully contract and empty their blood into the ventricles before the ventricles are stimulated to contract. This means that we can eliminate options A and B.
This delay is important because it ensures that the ventricles have enough time to fill with blood before they contract and pump blood out of the heart. If the electrical impulses were transmitted too quickly, the ventricles may not have enough time to fully fill with blood. This means that option D is incorrect. In addition to its role in delaying the transmission of electrical impulses, the AV node also helps to coordinate the contraction of the ventricles, ensuring that they contract in a synchronized manner to effectively pump blood out of the heart. So the correct answer is C. It is responsible for transmitting electrical impulses from the atria to the ventricles. Did you get the question right? Comment what you thought down below. If you want to learn more about this subject, check out this video. And if you want to learn the same thing but in French, check out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!